Cam 1, medium on Ray. Cam 2, medium on Shea. Camera 3, go full. Focus. 10, right. 9, okay. 8, up your shot. Three, 7, please. go music. Go logo. 5, 4, lights. NNC proudly presents X-Ray with your host, Ray Hawk. Welcome to tonight's show. Tonight, we present our guest, Mr. Victor Shea, author of Behind Closed Doors, Atrocities Throughout History. Thank you, Ray. Now, Mr. Shea, your book has had quite an outcry from many scholars. Why is that? I feel that many don't like my view. That being? I basically state that it was the explorers of old, uh, DeSoto, Columbus, even the Pilgrim, that were the true savages. Wait, you're saying that the scientific, God-fearing explorers that formed this great country were savages? Exactly. I have to disagree with you. That would be your stance, and you have every right to believe that. Mr. Shea, why do you think your associates disagree with you? It may be because they've been brainwashed. What's that? That the most advanced civilization will reign. Won't they? Yes, until a more advanced one comes along. But as science has proven that humanity is the most advanced... Science hasn't proven that. The Native Americans of North America had every land right to this continent. Then a foreign horde came in. They were savages, living off the land, worshipping grass and horses and whatever else. Were they the savages? You're not claiming the pilgrims were. I am indeed. It wasn't the Native Americans who stole land. It wasn't the Mayans who spread disease and made an entire culture extinct. What? No, it was the so-called civilized explorers who murdered and robbed these people for their personal comforts. Hold on. Just because they're proving the theory of evolution, they're murderers and thieves, I'd think they helped mankind by giving the savages what they had coming. You're a real piece of work, lady. Speaking of work, let's look at your credentials. What makes you qualified to write this book? Extensive research. No, no, I mean, what's your professional qualifications? I was a locksmith. You opened doors for a living? Among other things. And you think that this makes you qualified to label our founding fathers and mothers as murderers? I've unlocked a lot of doors. Some, some had some odd things behind them. I still say the savages were wasting the land, and the explorers, be they pilgrims or conquistadors, have every right to expand. Well, I guess we'll have to agree to disagree. I guess so. And that does it for our time with Mr. Victor Shea and his book, which seems to be flying off the shelves. We're clear. Hey, wait. Wait. Just a shame, wait. Is that how you go about things? Insulting your guests? I didn't mean anything by it. It's just a role I play, a bitchy devil's advocate. <laughs> well, you got the bitch part down. I'm okay, sorry. listen, we've got to mobilize at least three different units, okay? This is the story of the century. Let's not screw it up. We need you back in the studio now. It is. Reports have streamed in from not only New York, but Chicago as well, that these ships are coming down. Scientists from local universities and military advisors are clear and in agreement on one thing. This race, whatever it might be, appears to be hundreds, maybe even thousands of years more advanced than humanity. Thousands of years. This is for you. So 
serene in the assurance of their dominion over this small, spinning fragment of solar driftwood, which by chance or design, man has inherited out of the dark mystery of time and space. Yet across an immense ethereal gulf, minds that are to our minds, as ours are to the beasts in the jungle, intellects, vast, cool and unsympathetic, regarded this earth with envious eyes, slowly and surely drew their plans against us. This world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man's, and yet as mortal as his own. We know now that as human beings busied themselves about their various concerns, they were scrutinized and studied, perhaps almost as...